Hi, it's Nick from Meat Smoke Fire here, and I promised to review uh, the new Big Green Egg Bluetooth dome thermometer. Uh, so this has just been launched uh, here in the UK. I think it's been out in the US a little while. Uh, and essentially this is a replacement for your uh, standard dome thermometer. Uh, with the advantage is that it's Bluetooth, so you can connect to it from your phone, uh, and also, you know, perhaps you could connect it from an iPad. So I'm going to do demo it today. I'm going to use an iPad so it's just slightly bigger so you can see what's going on. Uh, but I'm going to give you my initial thoughts on it. Um, I've been using it for a few days now, a couple of days. Uh, in fact, um, I charged this up and it's been on consistently since I charged it. Um, and at the moment, that's what a day and a little bit and it's showing three quarters battery and it's still on. So I don't know if you can see that. You can see it's reading about 10 degrees. Yes, it is a little bit chilly out here. So let's just take a little look at this. So uh, there's a probe that comes out of the back. There is a metal piece here you can see with a number of discs and then the green bit on the front, which is the electronics. And the green bit can be taken away. So the idea is you take this off, take it indoors, charge it up and when you're ready, you bring this back, attach it, just clip it on and off you go. There are just two buttons on here. One is the on off button and the other is the um, display button. So if I press the display button, you should be able to see that turns on a lot easier to, to see now. So it's backlit. So if you're using this in the dark, you can press that and you can see what temperature you're at. Brilliant. So the device itself comes with uh, a little clip that goes on the back end of this. So when you push this through your egg, you can just squeeze this like you would do the normal one and hold it against the dome. So I'm gonna fit it in a second. Um, very much like the, the standard dome thermometer that you've got. So we'll go ahead now and we'll install this. So what I'm gonna do now, just open up my dome. There's a similar clip on the back. So if I squeeze, I can pull that off and we'll take the old thermometer out. And then we can put this new one through the same hole, the existing hole, drop it in and then we can put the clip on the back which is easier said than done sometimes but uh no we're in now what i have found with this is it's not as good a fit as the existing clip so you may want to use the existing clip so that's our dome thermometer installed um, you can download the app to your phone um, i've got it on an ipad here just so you can see it um, and what we're gonna do is we need to connect it. So you just press the search equipment button. There we go, it's found it straight away. Now the app will connect to it and what it does is it displays the temperature, shows what your maximum and minimum settings are. So at the moment it's zero and 450 degrees and we can change those. Um, but it's showing what temperature your egg is set, set up for and it updates that live. Um, so pretty much on the fly from my testing. So we've got that installed on our egg. We've got our app on our iPad now connected to it. It could be a phone and those are updating. So you can either read this directly from the front or from the application. But the questions you want me to answer are what's its range like, what are the features and so on. Um, so the app itself is very simple. Um, it shows you what temperature you've got, it will show you some maximum um, and minimums that you can change so you can adjust alarm. So you could, if you were doing a cook at say 180 degrees, you could set the minimum to 160 and the top value to 100, 190, 200 degrees and it would alarm at you if the temperature was to go out of those limits. Other than that, there is a timer built into the app. So if you can see there, it's set at the moment um, and we can adjust that. So we could say we want a 60 minute timer and we can time it and it will just beep at us. But other than that, it is very simple. It's just a matter of selecting degrees centigrade, degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it shows you what the battery is. So after 24 hours, it's showing here 86% of the batteries left, which is brilliant. Um, you can choose what the alarm sound is like uh, and you can unpair the device. Now that's important, I guess, if you want to switch between this and a phone or, uh, or, or a phone and another device. Um, say, uh, you know, you were going to use two of these things and you wanted to hook up to another one. Now, there is an issue, in, in my opinion, the app does not support more than one thermometer. So for here, us here, uh, the cookery school where we've got, well, we've got eight or nine eggs at the moment, 
we can only have one of these devices or we can or we'll need 10 phone or nine eight phones and, and an iPad or whatever to, to connect to them all um, so that is a little bit of a limitation on the range though um, it's been pretty good um, my garden is probably 20 meters long and connectivity from here to the other end of the garden is great um, it connects so if I were to be outside uh, we'd have connectivity all the way through the garden um, having said that, there is nothing on the app to show you that you do have a connection, um, which I think is a, a bit of a downfall. Um, what I'd like to show, like is some form of a icon or something just to show it is connected. Because if I walk away and it disconnects, it, it continues to display the temperature it last connected at, if that makes sense. So say it was 10 degrees now. I walked off and I lost connection, it would continue to display, to display 10 degrees. And that to me sort of indicates that it's still connected when it's actually not. The app doesn't show you whether you've got a connection. So if you want to make sure you've got a connection, what you need to do is just on an iPad anyway, pull up and then get rid of the app and then you can restart the app and you'll see it's got the three dashes and then the temperature comes up. Um, when you start it again and you haven't got a connection, those three dashes will just remain and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but it is a Bluetooth device, so you are limited by the, the distance a Bluetooth signal will travel. So let's move on to some of the questions you've um, asked or I would ask about this as well. Um, so is the unit waterproof? Well, yes. If any of you saw the photo um, I took last night, uh, it was absolutely lashing it down out here. That's why I brought it out and I used it. Um, it showed uh, it continued to work flawlessly during the rain so there is no issues with using it outside it does have a little water a little seal under the bottom uh, where you plug the usb in so it uses a standard usb uh, micro usb socket uh, to charge it up um, but that's you have to do that i guess very you know fairly infrequently considering this is you know it's been on way over 24 hours now and it's still at 86 percent um, other questions you've asked, can you have multiples? I've answered that. No, at the moment the app only supports a single thermometer. So if you've got multiple eggs, you're not going to be able to use multiple ones of these, which I think is a shame. On the app itself, um, as I said, there's nothing to show that you've got a connection and it is quite limited. There's nothing on here that shows graphing or anything like that you get with, a, say, perhaps a meter plus or a meter block. Um, it really does just show you the temperature. And this green bit around the outside isn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't, not that I've seen, doesn't move. There's no arrow like you would get on a normal gauge. It just shows the temperature on the inside. Um, so you are limited to reading that. And for me, um, for those people who um, uh, are quite fixed on temperatures, um, I see it a lot with my clients coming to the to private classes. If you've come to one of our classes and I say, you know, let's set the egg to 180 degrees. In my book, 180 degrees, 20 degrees either way doesn't really make much difference to cooking. Um, having an app that says it's 181 degrees may make some people you know, worry about it and go, oh, and I'm not 180, I'm 181 or 185 and, and adjust their eggs a lot more. Um, so, I, but I, I kind of like the, the arrow just to pointing in the right direction. Um, in terms of the backlit, I love it. Um, but what I can't do is be stood a fair distance away and read that. You really do have to go into the app to look at it. Yeah, otherwise, you've got to be quite close because the display is only that central portion, you know, a centimetre and a half, two centimetres probably display when it could have been a lot bigger, I guess. Um, what I want to do uh, now is just show you some of the Bluetooth um, things. So I'll move down the garden and just show you how far away we can be connected uh, so you can see that. So I've moved down the garden a little. Uh, the egg is the one behind me, just over here. It's about 10 metres away. Um, I'm going to fire up the app, which I'm going to do, and you should see, shouldn't take a sec too long, and it should connect. Um, oh, interesting, not doing it. it. Took a little while, but it did connect. Um, so it just shows you uh, that it can connect. This is, what, 10 metres. So I'm going to go a little bit further, and we'll do the same experiment. So I've just done exactly the same where I disconnected and I've reconnected here. Um, we're about 20 meters away and it has connected perfectly to, to the, the egg, which is right down at the back of the garden. It's about 20 meters away. 
Um, so that's a good thing. Um, what we'll do now is just go inside and show you what happens in there. Now, obviously this has all been done on an iPad, the Bluetooth on a phone uh, is slightly different, um, but I have had exactly the same results with the phone. It's just, I'm using that as a camera. Um, so I've seen this where it will connect 20 meters. There's no problem with that at all, but it is getting towards the limit of where it will connect. I have to say it does take a little bit longer. So I've just moved inside. Um, you can see my patio area, the cookery school just outside. Um, we're about six meters from the egg. It's just literally just there. Um, had it got the normal thermometer on, I'd be able to look at it and see roughly where the dial is. Um, but what you'll see on the iPad, and it's exactly the same on the phone, is unfortunately that signal's not getting through my windows. Now, we do have, uh, there are heat coated glass, um, but I have seen other Bluetooth signals such as the meter, the meter plus, and so on going through the windows. Um, this doesn't appear to go through them. Um, what I have found though, sometimes if I hold it up to one of the wooden bits, one of the gaps, um, it will find that signal occasionally. Uh, it's not doing it now. Um, but yeah, a bit of a limitation. Um, uh, it just won't go through those windows. How well? uh, hopefully the sun isn't too bright for this, but uh, you can see that. So what we said is that with the windows shut, no signal. Uh, however, open the door. Uh, stay the same distance and what we should see in a couple of seconds uh, It takes a little while, but there you go. It's found it um, as soon as we open the door take the windows out of the way that signal works So a little bit of a limitation there with the, the windows blocking that Bluetooth signal um, As I said ours have got a heat coating on them So they may be slightly different, but I haven't got any others that I can test it with so let's just summarize what I think of the uh, Big green egg Bluetooth thermometer uh, really easy to set up uh, yeah, just put it on, swap it out for your thermometer, pop it on, turn it on, open the app, which is just from the App Store or the Google Play Store, uh, and off you go. It will connect fairly quickly. Um, in terms of how often it, it, it updates, very frequently, so you, it will match exactly what that's showing. Um, so you are in constant connection with it. Um, in terms of what you can, uh, in terms of the app itself, a little bit limited, but it's showing you the key information, which is, uh, the temperature your egg is at, okay, nine degrees, I haven't lit it, um, but also uh, the maximum and minimum temperatures, the alarms that you set up uh, for it. Which by, and you do that, by the way, by just hitting this preset thing and then you can adjust those. Um, it doesn't graph, which is unfortunate, uh, but that's fine. Uh, it's the first generation of the software and I'm sure they'll improve that. Um, the connectivity is good outside so up to about 20 meters away that works fine but for us where we've got windows um, it's bluetooth signal uh, a lot of bluetooth devices will struggle with that uh, if that is you want to be monitoring your egg from inside then perhaps this isn't the product for you um, but it does do a good job of monitoring and alarming while you're outside um, for 99 pounds uh, pretty decent value uh, the equivalents are the meter the meter plus uh, meter plus is uh, 119 pounds at the moment, uh, but that is also me measuring your food as well as the temperature of your egg. Um, so, you know, slightly cheaper. It's big green egg branded, so it'll, stick, it'll have their warranties on it. Um, yeah, overall, uh, good product. I'd love it to work indoors. That's my only down take on this. Uh, and I'm sure the app, app itself will get better. So if you've enjoyed that review, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, it all helps. Uh, you may have seen we do some weekly uh, cooking sessions, live cooks on a Saturday at 11.30 a.m. Uh, they're free, so just join in. You can watch those on Instagram Live or we then take the recordings and put them onto YouTube. Um, but if you'd like us to review other products, let us know which and we'll help you with those. Uh, and of course, we'll continue to do our how-to series. So looking at things like loading and lighting, how to use the expander system, uh, cleaning and maintaining your, uh, your uh, regulator uh, and so on. So yeah, do subscribe, it helps us out. And if, you, if there's anything you want, Big Green Egg or third party, that, um, do have a look at our shop and maybe we can help you out there.